Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashton. Today I wanted to do an updated planner flip of my Kate Spade personal ring planner. As we're approaching the end of January and beginning of February, I wanted to do an update as a few things in here have changed. But I also just wanted to do a flip of this one because um, I am going to be moving out of this binder. So I am gonna be putting my inserts in a new planner that I have ordered that is on the way. And um, the main reason why I ordered a new binder is, as you can see, it does not close. Um, this thing is stuffed. It does have 25 millimeter rings inside and it is very stuffed and so I either need bigger rings, a bigger binder, or both, I'm not sure, um, but the planner I've ordered has 30 millimeter rings. So I will share that when it comes in and I get that set up, but I wanted to do like one last flip before I move out of this planner. So in my pockets, I use this for my other, you know, cards and gift cards and anything that is not in my main wallet. I usually carry a small wallet with my ID and credit card. And so these are just my like gift cards and bus card and some other credit cards that I don't really use that often. Um, and then back here, I just have a couple of sticky note pads. And then on this side, I keep some cash and I have a little Simply Gilded paper clip here and just some business cards up front. And then in the back pocket, I have a, um, I have an extra page marker from cloth and paper. I keep all of the stickers that I'm using at the moment. So I just kind of change these out whenever I run out of stickers or I just put in whatever is, um, I want to use that week. And then I have a little folder from Hobonichi where I keep receipts. Up front, I have my vision board. So this I made to kind of inspire me for my 2022 goals. So I just printed that out. I created that in Photoshop and then laminated that. I have a little 30 day challenge card. This was a freebie. I don't remember the shop, but I will do my best to link any freebies or any inserts that I have purchased. Um, and if I don't mention where something is from, feel free to comment and ask and I will do my best to link all those for you. Up front, I have a clear pocket from Cat Espresso Co. These are new to me and I really like them. I just have a couple of things in here, a flower sticker from my shop. Um, this was a cute little illustration that my husband made for me. So I made a copy of it and printed it out really small and put it in here. And that's a picture of us. This was really fun, it was a um, list of my kind of daily like habits and things that I want to do every day and I typed it up printed it out on clear sticker paper and then I just stuck it to a piece of lamination so I love how that looks I have a couple of these and I just love you can like see through it but it's still very um, you know functional to have that these are just some stickers that I like and I had to punch them. Orange is my favorite color, so you'll see little pops of orange throughout. Um, I have a calendar from my shop, just an overview of 2022, and I printed that on vellum. And my first section is my inbox, or my list section, so I have an inbox checklist here, and I just kind of um, categorize them as best I can and check them off when they're done. Um, Thinking once I fill up, I'll probably move to a new page and just transfer some things over. And up here, I just, this is where I have a variety of paper. I have some like Filofax list paper and some Tomo River paper. And I kind of just um, scribble, you know, notes about basically anything that I need. And I stick in sticky notes as needed. Um, notes for things that I need to like put in my planner, just a bunch of stuff, whatever comes to mind. And I might end up like moving these to various sections in my planner if they're gonna be long-term, but if not, they'll kind of just stay up at the front as I'm working on them. And my second section is goals. Um, I don't really label my dividers cause I don't prefer to label the actual divider, but I do like to just stick label stickers from my shop onto different 
um, page flags and that way I can just create labels for different sections like as I need them. So I have my goals section as my second divider and I have another clear pocket here with my goals typed out um, and then a little 2022 decal. This is um, a vellum of an illustration that I did, so I just printed that out. And then I have my um, year overview from cloth and paper, and I really like these inserts. So what I do is I just draw a line for each month, and then on the top I put personal goals, and then on the bottom I put person um, work-related goals. So that's been really helpful so far to just like re refer to when I'm planning my uh, month or week. Um, these five-year goal inserts I thought were fun and on the back I actually have some goals but on the front I just wrote like what my age will be and my husband and our anniversary and our dog's age just because I thought it would be fun to see like you know what's coming up. Um, it's crazy how time flies but then I just have a bunch of goal inserts in here and I use the goal inserts are from um, Simple and Trendy Co and then I also have a project insert in here from 8 Lotus and it, that's just for like decluttering. It's just kind of like a temporary goal. So it's not really, I just used a project insert for that. But otherwise I pretty much plan my goals the same way. Like I write what it is and then um, I break it down into action steps. And then for each action step, I put a due date. Like I don't put a specific day, but I definitely try to put a month. So I can at least know that I need to put it into that month. And then um, for some things I will put like M, W, or G if it's a monthly, weekly, or daily habit that I need to do. And then subdivided in my goals section, I added a work tab and this is just a little Filofax um, dashboard. And so I did that for um, my work related goals specifically. So I have this paper test insert and this is kind of where I will lay out goals by month for my work and then also what I've been doing is um, I use dot stickers and I have a little color code that I use so let me find them yeah I use this one for my work goals so like whenever I do a shop release I will do a pink one um, whenever I post a YouTube video that one's yellow and then whenever I send out a newsletter I'll circle the day so that's just kind of like a quick overview. I do all my content planning pretty much on the computer, um, mostly in Trello, but I do like to have that like simple, um, just year overview so I can quickly see like how many videos and releases and newsletters I'm actually doing. And then in my work section, I have plain Filofax paper. And I thought this would be good for my work section because sometimes I like to sketch out ideas. And so I just have a little bit of paper in there. This is another Catspresso pocket, which I think is really cute because it has like a floral pattern on it. I just have like a little picture of my dog. And then these are some stickers that I use on my monthly, just the little label stickers. So I have a few of those. On the back, this was just a scan from my sketchbook that I cut out and put in here and just some more stickers. And then my next section is my planning section. This dashboard from Cloth and Paper I really love. And I just have um, a planning routine to start out this section. So this page is for work and then I have one for personal. I just tried to separate them. And I'm still brainstorming these things as I go. Like as I plan each week and month, I will kind of add to it. But this is just kind of a checklist of the work things are mostly like financial tasks that I need to do, especially for those like yearly tasks that I need to remember. And then um, personal things I'm kind of brainstorming as I go and this is nice to just refer to it as I plan out my month. I have another paper test insert in here and this is um, has a little month tab. So this is kind of where I will do my reflection. So what it looks like is I have this insert um, where I will just write down like, I try to write something every week, but I'll just write down like if there was a highlight. So for January, for instance, I wrote down that I went ice skating and I wrote down that we had a snow day and just some things that are kind of like highlights or things that no don't normally happen. 
And then I have a monthly insert from Your Paper and Line Co. And this is just a like goals on the front and then on the back it has a review. So I'm trying to start doing one of these for each month. So we have that at the beginning and then we get into my monthly section. So um, these I am really enjoying. It's just a freebie calendar from Peanuts Planner Co. And then I have put these little orange tabs on the side. These are from um, Jet Pens and they're just little bitty tabs and I like that I can easily like thumb through the pages with this. It makes it a little bit easier to get to future months and so I just went ahead and put down some holidays, birthdays, and paydays, things that I know are coming up. And then we get into sort of my combined weekly and daily section. So I'm still figuring out like what I want to do with this section but so far I have printed um, I printed out my uh, monthly calendar, so this is just on a piece of vellum, and for January I'm going to print out another one for February. And so I have my calendar, and then right behind that I have the actual goals and review insert. So um, I kind of try to fill this out at the beginning of the month with the to-dos and important dates, and then um, the milestones and challenges and things I'll just kind of put in as the month goes on and I just kind of, that's why I have a tab over here is just so I can like quickly go to it and kind of work on it whenever I feel like it. And I love that there's like a little um, life wheel where you can kind of like rate your, rate your month or rate your month by different categories. Um, and then I have a mix of inserts. I'm just kind of trying out like whatever I feel like. So these are daily from Paper Test and I actually just printed these on Tomo River paper because as you can see, my planner is very stuffed. So <laughs> the more inserts I can print on Tomo River paper, the better. Um, I, I don't love writing on it with my gel pens and I prefer to use gel pens, but um, it's okay if you let it dry a little bit, but normally I will um, just use the Hobonichi pen for these inserts. So I have a variety of daily, um, well, no, not really a variety. I have one kind of daily page um, that I use in a variety of ways, and I love that I can kind of just use it for whatever I need depending on the day. And then for um, weekly, I started out using the Simple and Trendy Co. week on one page, but honestly the box for each day is a little bit small so I don't know if that's going to work for me going forward. And I kind of just have weekly and daily mixed together um, and I try to just put them in chronological order. And then this is the current week. So I have a week on two pages that's kind of the Hobonichi Week style, which I love because I love the Hobonichi Weeks, and so it's kind of fun to have that in here. And um, I can kind of just like, you know, lay it out any way that I need to, and I'm still drawing my line down the days that I work, so I can kind of put work on one side and personal on the other. And then my fourth tab, we get into my health section. So I have this kind of subdivided. I made these with cardstock. Um, dividers so I have like physical health up front so I have doctor appointments and a couple of trackers here and then this I kind of got this idea from Sierra of SM plans and I'm using her inserts for this because she um, has showed how she does a month on one page with her habit tracker so I decided this would be a really good setup for my health stuff so as you can see, I kind of just have an overview here and I use this side for goals or notes. And then I have my giant tracker, which is really fun to fill it out. So I try to flip into this every day. And then I have just set up February and I also have a health log that I will move from month to month, I guess, until I run out of paper. But here I'll just put the date and note down any symptoms. And I don't do this one every day. It's just as needed, basically. Um, so I, I set up all the months in here. I have a habit tracker ready to go. And then we get into 
self-care. So um, this, I'm trying to make this like my self-care slash fun section and um, I'm open to ideas for other things I can put in here, but I have this little self-care rituals. And then I have a bookmark right here in front of this page so I can flip to it every day. So this is um, a free printable from the Daily Grace Co. And it's just a um, Bible, read the Bible in one year tracker because that is one of my goals. So I have a bookmark so I can easily flip to and see what I need to read that day and check it off. And then I'm trying to do like a capsule wardrobe thing, but I don't know if I'm actually going to write it down or not, but that was kind of my thought. And then I have a clothing size tracker and these are from um, Peanuts Planner Co. And then I have just a list of Marvel movies and th shows and things. And yeah, I don't really know what else to put in my fun section, but um, that's what we have so far. And then my final section is home, home section. So I kind of have everything from home, finance, travel, all reference, all in this section because it's to me it's all home related. So I have some pictures that I really like from Pinterest and then I have a cloth and paper renovation insert. Um, some notes, some garden notes that I just started. I have um, travel, so I just have some empty packing lists from cloth and paper. And this is where it gets really hard to turn my rings. <laughs> so this is a whoop, task card that is just kind of my table of contents for my planner. And then I have one down here that is kind of my like uh, finance payday sort of routine. So this is just like my checklist of things because um, this is like order of importance as I go through my finances. So I try to, um, once I get paid, I try to invest first, then add to my sinking funds and then finally pay bills. And then anything after that is for fun. Um, so that is my little like priorities routine thing. I have some stamps and then we have a year overview. So on this, I'm just putting down a sticker after I do all of the highlighted days or after those pass. And I just color coded any holidays like bank holidays and then paydays and then circled any days when taxes are due. So that is kind of the overview and then I have over here my um, bills tracker so I just check those off. I just like to have that on paper so I can check as I go and then I have some monthly reoccurring tasks for cleaning stuff and then stuff for my dog. And then um, I'm trying to experiment with this reoccurring purchases list um, for things that I frequently buy to see if I need like a sinking fund for it or if I could schedule like automatic shipments for stuff. I don't know. I'm kind of just experimenting with it. But and this, this is another um, variation on a bill tracker that I might do. But I don't Honestly, I don't know. I like keeping it really simple with my just simple tracker, but I feel like this could be helpful for some months, so we'll see. Um, I printed out some savings goals that I have not filled out yet. And then this one, I thought, is this is from Simple and Trendy Co. and I thought this might be good for finance stuff or maybe just for various like stats. Like, um, I don't know. I just felt like it would be really good because you have four boxes for each month of the year. So I feel like there's a lot you could do with that. And then um, a medical bills log and then a wish list. Um, and then we kind of get into some reference stuff. So I have health log for my dog, car maintenance, passwords. But honestly, I might change these because you can fit five passwords on one page and I might change to something where I can get more passwords on each page, so I don't know. And then stamps and just some little inspirational cards on the back. And that is the setup. So <laughs> that's the updated flip. I um, will definitely do an update once I switch over to my new binder that I have coming. So 
I hope you enjoyed the flip. Um, definitely leave any comments or questions below. And I will see you all again in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!